We are back on Taking Care of Business on Current Radio, News Talk 1180, 1230, KGEO, 1410, KERI, and now in Albuquerque, New Mexico at 1000 KKIM. Our guest by phone, Kyle Olson, Fox Fox contributor and founder of EIGnews.org. Kyle, uh, Marty was talking to you about the teacher situation, and I don't know if you needed to finish up anything on that. No, it's just, um, it, 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 uh, it's in looking at these different cases around the country, tenure cases and that sort of thing, it just is, it's disturbing to see how the system has been, uh, the system has morphed into one that is um, set up for the benefit of the adults and not the benefit of children. And, uh, and we're seeing some people like Scott Walker, for example, uh, Mitch Daniels, uh, the former governor of Indiana, some of those uh, elected leaders chipping away at that, um, but it's a very difficult process. Um, and another another uh, story we've got on our site is how uh, what happens is if the union doesn't like some sort of reform uh, that was passed, they run to the courts and they they find a friendly judge and they get you know a stay on it or they they get it bottled up in the courts. And uh, it's just it's a very long, tough process. Yeah. And um, and. You know, thank goodness there are people like Scott Walker who are willing to take on that fight um, and really kind of blaze the trail uh, for others around the country. Yeah, and and he's showing that it can be done, and a lot of other politicians are now start, starting to see it's, it's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, when we had you on last time, we've actually had one of your board members on. Juan Williams was a guest on the show a while ago. And mm-hmm. we were talking a little bit about your film, Tale of Two Missions. Can you tell mm-hmm. our audience a little bit about that film? Sure. Um, I got to know Juan uh, about a year, actually about two years ago, and um, and he and I had become friends, uh, and as you, you said, he's actually on our board of directors now. But what we wanted to do with A Tale of Two Missions is look at um, education in the city of Chicago, uh, because it's Chicago has a 54% graduation rate. Uh, the school system itself oh, they're up. is about a billion dollars. Um, uh, in deficit for its its current budget, it's a system that was designed for uh, about four hundred thousand kids. Um, excuse me, it's 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 um, it's currently got about three hundred thousand kids, and it's operating like it has four hundred thousand kids. And so uh, there's you know a huge amount of uh, staff and uh, buildings and all those sorts of things. But then in addition to that, you've got a Chicago Teachers Union, which in my estimation is one of the most militant um, unions in the country with its leader Karen Lewis just fighting any sort of reform whether it's um, increasing school choice or uh, compensation or whatever the case may be and in addition to that um, I mean these these the the people running the union are not just you know they're not just Democrats uh, they're not just uh, liberals uh, but they are they're far left uh, ideologues that you know go to socialist conferences uh they were regularly um appearing at occupy chicago events and those sorts of things and so what we wanted to do was contrast that whole mess um with schools that are succeeding and we focused on noble street college prep which you know has kids from the very same neighborhoods that chicago public schools has and it's a charter school which is a public school um, you enter a lottery, and then if your number is drawn, you get to go to the school. And they have a 99% graduation rate. Um, there is a strict uh, dress code. There's strict uh, behavior uh, rules and those sorts of things. And the students know that they are there to learn and and to respect um, authority and respect uh, the teachers and all of those sorts of things. And they make it work. And what it does is it dispels that whole that whole myth, that whole narrative that there are just some kids that can't learn, um, or if you if you have if you're a, a black uh, male in the city of Chicago, um, you know that the system is stacked against you and you will never be able to succeed. I mean, schools like that, you know, knock all of those those myths and those barriers down. And so we did a contrast looking at those different things, and it's a tale of two missions. So the, the, the mission of the union is for Occupy Chicago, you know, social change and all of those sorts of things, where Noble Street College Prep, the mission is educating children and making sure that they are successful um, 
and making sure that they're prepared for life and that they will be an asset to society um, instead of a detriment. Our guest by phone, Fox contributor, founder of EAGnews.org, Kyle Olson. You know, Kyle, I went to one of those schools you're talking about back in Westport, Connecticut, a school called Staples High School that has a tremendous reputation. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. No. Okay. I haven't. I thought you went to PS 102. Well, I got my GED recently. (laughs) (laughs) But. You know, it's too bad there's so many bad teachers because there are such a large, tremendous of great teachers all around this that's, country. That's that's exactly right. And what, what we find frustrating is with a, a collective bargaining system like you see in, um, in New Mexico or uh, California or Michigan where I live or Illinois or so many other states around the country, um, good teachers, effective um, uh, highly motivated teachers are paid exactly the same as the slob down the hall um, simply because of how long they've been there. And they can't be rewarded for the time and the effort uh, that they put in, uh, the positive impact that they're having on student learning. And there's no way to reward them because we have this collective bargaining situation where um, everyone is treated equally, everyone's treated the same, even though. Not everybody is is of equal value um, or of equal effort um, and that sort of thing. And so it it is frustrating because there are tons of teachers who are doing great work and they can't be recognized and they can't be rewarded for it um, money-wise because the system is, is stacked against them. Incredible. We've got about two minutes left, Kyle, but one thing I wanted to talk to you about is uh, you had mentioned earlier all the hysteria going on in uh, schools because of guns. That's right. Because of, uh, I think, well, I think the attitude has been there for a long time, but I think uh, the tragedy at Sandy Hook really kind of brought a a focus on it in that um, a lot of uh, people within schools um, just have this hysteria over guns and the idea of guns, the idea of owning a gun, um, and, and that sort of thing. And I think what we're seeing is these zero tolerance policies play out to to an absurd degree where you've got uh th- there was a girl who had a a pink uh it was basically a squirt gun but it made bubbles and it was a hello kitty gun and she brought it to school not you know, you know with evil some evil at- intent in fact she was a, a kindergartner and she said you know she and her her friend were going to take turns shooting each other with the bubble gun and she was suspended because she was making uh, terroristic threats. And, uh, and there was a, a story earlier this week where um, a kid had a, a Pop-Tart, and he was trying to bite it into the shape of a mountain, but the teacher thought that it looked like a gun, and so he was suspended. And there was another story of where a, a kid on a playground was, was moving his arm like he was throwing a uh, grenade, but that wasn't what he was doing. He was doing something else. But the teacher across the playground thought he was throwing a grenade, and so he was suspended. Amazing. I mean, it's just this, <laughs> this you know, craziness that is going on yeah. in schools. And, uh, and so what, what that has done is it's opened up this opportunity. Or it's, 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 it's opened up this discussion about how do we keep kids safe? Yeah. Um, do we have these, you know, these gun-free zones? Does that sure. really work? Kyle, uh, unfortunately, does it make sense to have yeah. uh, school employees armed. Kyle, unfortunately, uh, we're we're out of time and, and that sort of thing. And <laughs> yeah. so, uh, it's it's really critical. I think sure. that parents know what's going on in their schools and be involved in this process. I agree, Kyle. We have to have you come back. Thank that would you. Be great. Thank you for being with us. We'll see sure. you again Thank in you. 167 hours on Taking Care of Business on Current Radio News Talk 1180.